After October 24, 1998, there was an empty two-acre space in downtown Detroit, Michigan. This prime land was made possible by the unfortunate demolition of the historic J.L. Hudson department store. Hudson's flagship store was a popular shopping establishment located at 1206 Woodward Avenue in Detroit. Hudson's original store on this location was built in 1891, but demolished by 1923. New construction had begun in 1911, and wanting and needing a larger structure, J.L. Hudson hired Smith, Hinchman, and Grills to design a new structure, built in the Chicago School architecture style. Construction continued again in 1924, and the first section was completed by 1927. The new building was built in waves during 12 separate expansions, with the final renovation taking place in 1946. Hudson continued their expansion until they had their entire block. Once fully completed, the building was over 2.1 million square feet that featured office and retail space with numerous restaurants, five separate basements, and many amenities in the top of the line structure with intricate architecture style that even included the JLH lettering on the frosted windows on numerous floors. There were 68 total elevators in the building, which included both customer and freight elevators, as well as 48 escalators. The building stood at 410 feet high, and the generators in the building itself had enough power to give electricity to a city of 20,000 people. One of the women's restrooms on the fourth floor had 85 stalls. The building set a world record for having 705 fitting rooms throughout the 49 acres of floor space. During its peak, the J.L. Hutchin Department Store in Detroit was the tallest department store in the world until 1961. The building was also one of the second largest department stores in the United States. Each year on Armistice Day, beginning in 1923, Hudson's displayed the largest American flag in the world. The flag was 3,700 square feet, and each star alone was over 5 feet tall. Overall, this flag was 235 feet long and 104 feet high. One whole mile of rope was needed to hang the flag. This particular flag was last used in 1949 and was replaced by one that was 7 stories tall. The J.L. Hudson Department Store in Detroit, Michigan remained open until Detroit's decline, which began as early as the 1960s and lasted many decades. Losing sales due to not only theft and shrink, but many people avoided going downtown due to a lack of safety. Hudson's was purchased by Dayton's in 1969 and the company became Dayton Hudson Corporation. The building remained open until January 17, 1983. The building remained in use by Hudson's to staff over 1,000 employees until Hudson's merged into the department store division of the Dayton Hudson Group. Most of the operations and executive employees were moved to Minneapolis, while very few remained in Detroit. By 1986, the last of the employees transferred from the downtown building and Dayton Hudson's was forced to sell it. After selling the former Hudson's department store in December 1989, the building was eventually demolished on October 24, 1998. The city constructed an underground four-level parking garage in 2001 where the Hudson basement once was. Today, there is planned to be a new building built on this site that is expected to be completed by 2022.